All right, guys, starting out the video in the TC. Uh, going to a car meet this morning. It's sort of an older car meet. There's gonna be older cars there. I don't know, I'm not really into all older cars unless it's, unless it's like uh, Datsuns, like Baileys, so. I don't know, it's still gonna be fun. Taking JSR girlfriend, she loves old cars. We're gonna play that good shit. All right, we're about to head there right now. Are you excited? Yes, I love old cars. They're horses. That is a big ass horse. So oh, damn, they big. They big. All right, well we're out here. We're gonna go explore Yellow C6 right there. Uh, they sort of, they didn't really tell me where to park. They sort of just pointed me over here. So I'm just assuming that this is okay. All right, apparently this wasn't okay to park. I mean, uh, I'm parked in a line of cars. Kid pointed me right here. I get out and he tells me I have to park down there. 88,000 subscribers and we still don't got VIP parking, boys. Not quite there yet. All right, we're parking right here and uh, I'm sure once we get out, some kid's gonna run up to us and say, oh, well, you can't park here. Oh boy, oh boy. I think that's worse. Yep. There's taller than me. So right. The tire's literally taller than you. Y'all call me a ricer. What's oh, talking? Huh? It's talking. This is the cleanest fucking engine bay I've ever seen. Yo, this thing's aired out, bro. This is, you know, when I imagine old car shows, this is exactly what I imagine. Right? Some candy cane looking interior. We built this entire thing, so. Old photo album. Well, it's because he rebuilt the entire car. Where's your photo album, Brandon? Huh? <laughs> oh! Bad dog. Bad dog. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know why, but these trucks make me think of ice cream. It is blue flames on a yellow car. Right, they rice or no? They only look good on old cars. Pretty rice. Finally something that's not an old car. Wait, are these ones where the doors go up? No. Damn it. It's very orange. Very, very orange. It just fits the body more. That's kind of weird though. Oh my god, it's a car on top. It's a car on a car. It's the same car. No car, no car. You like the fact that that many horse cars, so I'm gonna just give a moderate guess to about. I say around the 40s. Not even, maybe. No, I'd say. I got a pretty good guess. No. Jake, that's. Okay, whatever. All right, guys, we out here in this corn maze. The hype beast should take an L for this one. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back in the car. It's a few hours later now, after the meet. Uh, I've woken up a little bit. Not that the meet was early, it was like 11. But uh, anyways, I'm back here. And I don't know about you guys, but like old people car meets, like with older cars are just like, they're cool. Don't get me wrong. Like I respect their builds, man. Like all their builds are taking more time than I will on any uh, on any building I will ever get to in my entire life. So props to them, they really finish their shit, whether it's them or a shop still. But uh, the meets are just weird. Like you got old people and like every old person's like sitting in a chair behind their car. And what the fuck is up with all the props that they have in front of their car? I don't get it. I don't know if I, uh, if I don't get it just because I'm a young person, but these old people get a kick out of it. I don't know, it's weird, but uh, cool cars today. But uh, back home and uh, waiting for Brandon right now to pull up. I don't know if he's gonna pull up in the Corrado or the Jetta, but uh, we're gonna 3D print some uh, uh, part for his car, so should be pretty sick. My dad actually has a 3D printer, JSR Dad. Follow him on Instagram, and uh, he makes some pretty cool shit. So we're gonna design a little piece that Brandon needs for his Corrado, because he did get a new toy for it. Yeah, we're gonna get to that, and uh, should be pretty fun, but uh, that's what we're gonna be doing today. All right, guys, we got this so far. This is basically what JSR Dad made off of a, uh, a picture that I sent to him over text. 
because uh, Brandon drew a little doodle. I'm going to pull it up on screen for this video so that way you guys can see. And uh, this is just a test one to see. Yeah, it might fit. It might not. We're going to see. But uh, Brand got a new shift knob. It's actually a really nice one. It cost him like over 100 bucks. This little adapter right here should do the trick. Not sure if the test one's going to fit. If not, then that's all right. Brand's coming here anyways. We're going to measure it out and uh, do the best we can. So if this fits, cool. If not, it's not the end of the world. We'll just uh, have to custom make one. But uh, Brand's on his way right now. So Whose man is this? Ah! How you doing? My son or uh, Was it flopping everywhere? It won't flop. Oh, sweet. Oh, by the way, it's first part last time. Oh, shit. I don't know how fucking strong that is. Alright, it probably doesn't look strong on camera, but it, it's it's fucking solid, dude. Right? Oh, yeah, you did start. Just like, look at the that. top and the bottom, I think that's fucking something. God, that's, that's so weird. That's sick, though. Some more progress on the, on the big wang ducktail right here. Boom! Ooh, let's it's see. not huge. Like, er, like I thought it was gonna be bigger. Everybody thought it was gonna be bigger, but this is actually really nice. This is a quality shift now because it's a lot of money. It's pricey, dicey, dude. Pricey, dicey. Those Aussies, huh? Yeah. Ooh, boom. Woo. Ooh. Doesn't that look fucking good? That does. So the mistake I made when I told you is so for like the extension that Cadizzi has, which is basically this. Yeah. It, it goes to this thread. So the inner thread of like Matt's shifter is this. Okay. And normally what they do is you tell them what size your sh shift stock is, and they'll send you this little adapter, like mm -hmm. what your dad made. Yeah. This, this little piece, they mill to the size you say. So I just picked a random one, and that's what this is, M10 by 1.5. Alright. Alright, he made a test off of the picture that you sent, and he says that it's probably not gonna fit, but if it does, cool. But the picture, I feel like you don't need any crazy like measures, you know? Yeah. But if this fits, we're on it off to a good start. Because I mean, it should be the right thread. That's good. Okay. If the threads are right. That's all that really matters. Well, I don't have a knob. This is just an extension. And you're supposed oh. to get a knob that goes on it. Okay. Works. And then I was even thinking, like, the boot, I can tie it off in that little... That's why I, I showed, like, it being angled, not just, like, a straight cut off. Because then the boot, I can, Looks like, like it's a little too long, though, huh? That's you want to wanna see, see what that shifter actually looks like? Yeah. That's just the bottom piece. So this piece joins the two. This goes on like that. And then this one goes on like that. And then you have a shift knob on here. Oh, it's an extension. Yeah, exactly, but it, it's an oh, extension so that moves it closer to you. Yeah, and you can do, this is what I was trying to tell you, you can do this, you can do this. So I can, here if I want, here if I want, here, there if I want, over here if I want, up here if I want, you know? That's sick. Or if, I, if I'm stupid, down here if I want. Like, yeah. Yo, that's pretty sick. I thought it was like an actual knob. No. I mean, this is good for now. You know? Yeah. That's pretty sick. It doesn't do well in heat, so. It doesn't? No, that's why it's just a prototype. I might have just broke it, actually. Really? Yeah. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the prototype piece already broke. Well, but it, it works. Just for fitment. Is yeah. All, yeah. All I made it for. Yeah. In fact, I didn't make it solid. The comps, yeah, I can see. But the concept works. Yeah. If, if anything, the only thing I would say, make, like, if this can be, like, just an inch. Uh, longer than. Yeah. Because my, my threads go all the way down here. Yeah, give me exact dimensions. I can make it whatever size. Do you want to make it thicker too? Thicker? I mean, yeah, I like would wider. keep it from breaking again, right? Well, man, I mean, I don't. I didn't think it'd break that easy. Yeah, I think it's just because the walls are so thin. I can beef this out, make it thicker this way, mm -hmm. uh, and then use anyways, the right though. material. This is a very brittle material. Yeah, I mean, uh, that'd be better anyways, because I'm going to pull my shift boot over it so it actually looks like that part's coming out of the shift boot. Bigger. Yeah, because okay. I'm going to put my shift boot. I've got some nylon coming on Monday. Yeah. What was the material For now, I can make the it, other one? We can go in and redesign the piece and I can print out the other material is PETG. It's a lot stronger than that. Yeah. Um, and I can print like it out of that. strongest where it broke. Well, it broke right here, didn't it? It did, Because yeah. if you look, the, this flat wall is actually probably down in here. That's true, yeah, looking at this one right here. So we just need to make these walls thicker. We need to use a different material. 
So now it's twice as thick. Yeah. See right? That. And you don't need the taper on there. You don't need that. No. Right? If anything, that'll make it better. Because yeah, my boot so will have somewhere to grab on to. Oh, yeah. M12 by one and a half, which is what you wanted. Yeah. And then it automatically, and as you can see, the thing wasn't big enough. Yeah, so now it's... Big enough. Yeah, so. All right, it's JSR Dad's big ass 3D printer right here. And it's got this tiny one down here. It's like eight by eight or whatever. I don't know. Pretty sick. He's got multiple setups though. He's helping Brandon out with this uh, little shift knob. We got the 3D printer down here doing work on the small one for uh, Brandon's adapter thing. Oh, it just stopped. Okay, nope, it's gonna keep going. I feel like it's gonna do the crossover pretty soon. Yeah. Pretty sick. It's making some progress. Is it going all the way across? Just leaving a hole? Uh, no, we're good now. We're good now. Damn, yeah, It's kind of like a messy like jump, but I mean. Yeah. It's gonna like build up. Uh, you know what it is, I don't have the... Alright guys, right here, sorry for the phone quality, but uh, we got the finished product. It took a while to print, but uh, we printed out two of them. Uh, one of them got screwed up. Actually, they both sort of got screwed up. It's uh, gonna be trial and error. Gotta sort of just reset the 3D printer and uh, fucking calibrate it, so. Other than that, like, not bad though. Like, as you can see, you probably can't see, but it does look a little choppy in there. That's just because the 3D printer needs to be recalibrated. But uh, it's threaded. It shows up way better in real life, obviously. But uh, it's also threaded. You can probably see the threads a little bit better right there if it focus. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it's threaded right there. It's threaded on the inside too. But uh, it's ready to go on Brandon's shift knob. Uh, this is just another test right here. It's not going to be the actual one because uh, the material for the actual one comes in on Monday, I believe. So tomorrow. But uh, yeah, so... 3D print car parts out here. Uh, let us know if you guys think it's pretty cool. Let us know if we should 3D print out some other stuff. Uh, if you can think of any car parts to 3D print that fit on the 3D printer, let us know and uh, we'll give it a try maybe. So it'd be pretty cool. But uh, I'm actually at Brandon's work right now waiting for waiting to show him this. So uh, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. We out here 3D printing stuff. Shout out to JSR Dad. He's got all the 3D printer stuff and uh, he's the one that's been designing everything. So uh, go give him a follow on Instagram, like I said in the beginning. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.